Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. This is Vaishali and today I will be showing you second type of modak that is Ukkadiche modak. Quickly see the ingredients. Inside stuffing we are using 2 cups of freshly grated coconut, 1 cup of jaggery or good, 2 tablespoons of clarified butter or ghee. For making outer covering we are using 1 cup rice powder, 1 cup of water, 1 tablespoon of ghee. 1 4 teaspoon of salt to add in rice powder. This is the healthier option for modak as the stuffing we are using is coconut and chagari and some nuts and clarified butter which is also good for health and the outer covering which we are making is out of uh, rice powder and most important in all is we are not going to fry them we are going to steam them. For making filling heat the pan and add any clarified butter of 1 tablespoon. Is hot add this cashew and almond pieces so that we can roast them for a minute they are roasted now we are going to add this two cups of freshly grated coconut with that we are going to add this one cup of jaggery in this this jaggery and coconut uh, proportion is two by one but if you can adjust according to your taste how sweet you want now we are going to mix this till the jaggery get melted and the mixture is formed prop uniformly. Now as you can see all the jaggery is melted and nice uniform mixture has formed. Now we will switch off the gas and let the mixture cool down. The stuffing is ready. Let it cool down a bit and then add the cardamom powder to this. Now this mixture is cooled down completely. Now add this cardamom powder to this. Mix it well. Let's start with making ukkad. Making ukkad, add this one cup of water to the vessel. Ukkad basically means when you make dough with the hot water. Let this water boil. This uh, water has started boiling now. I add this one tablespoon of ghee to this and let it mix properly with this. This key will make the covering soft and pinch of salt. I'm adding salt to the water so that it get mixed nicely with the rice flour. And now I will switch off the gas and add this rice powder to this. Make sure there should be no lumps. Mix it properly. I have mixed the rice flour properly with this water. Now I am going to cover it and let it cool down completely so that all the grains from rice flour get soaked in water properly. After 10 minutes this ukkad is ready. Let's take out in a plate and knead a dough. We'll take out this ukkad in a plate. And knead this gently to form a soft dough. After 10 minutes also this is little hot. It's forming nice dough. Perfect proportion for this water and rice powder. But if you think it is very dry, you can sprinkle little cold water on the top and then knead this dough. Now we got this perfect dough without any cracks. Now we we'll start making no modak. We'll take a ball approximately of gold ball size and gently press it and make it thin. As we have to make one small bowl kind of thing here. So we'll press the edges. not be very thick otherwise it won't cook properly it should not be very thin because it has to hold the stuffing inside now this small bowl is ready now let's seal it from outside 
will make some folds like this it may break while making folds and all but you can always repair it afterwards and put some stuffing inside stuffing will go according to the size of your modak press it gently so that we can seal all the borders together and seal them together nicely but be very gentle with this as it's a very delicate thing now this modak is sealed properly now we'll make all of them all these modaks are ready perfectly stuffed one cup of rice powder has made about seven modaks stuffing is still remaining you can use it next time or you can use it in another type of modaks now let's cook this modaks we are going to steam this modak i'm going to use this idli pot for steaming the modak we have filled this idli cooker with five glasses of water i have generously applied this clarified butter on the idli plate so that the modak should not stick to it i'll keep this in this modak stand or idli stand i'm going to keep modak on it you have to keep this holes free for steam to come out cover this idli stand and let the modak steam for about 15 to 20 minutes after 15 minutes Let's check the modak. Test them. If they are not sticky, that means they are done. Switch off the gas and let it cool down. Now let's take out these modaks. These healthy modaks are ready. Let's serve them to Lord Ganesha. These yummy modaks are ready now. Thanks for watching this video. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes. Thank you.